This is a Cloud of Jedi here for another Star Wars action figure review. Today we'll be reviewing a Star Wars Expanded Universe, Nominor. This is Vincent, um, the Star Wars Vintage Collection number 59. Star Wars Expanded Universe. On the front you see a very cool picture of Nominor. You have a sticker for a Darth Maul statue offer. You have the Kenner Vintage logo, and you have the actual action figure. Character debut, never before offered as a figure. It comes with some sort of a club, which actually comes in two parts. don't know if you can tell really well, but it's two parts, the one connected. There's a hole at the end of it right there, where the top part of it connects. He has a cloth cape. Looks like he has an incredible detailing around his legs. He has these spikes that are coming out of him. His armor is very intricate. And he has spikes. Looks like it's, the spikes are coming out of his arms, the back of his arms, all the way up his spine. And his face, the well, the head sculpt looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a goblin. He has those ears. He has the tattoos on his head. The detail on the teeth is pretty cool. Very much, very, very awesome. Um, this is an unpunched card, but I think I'm going to have to open him up. Okay. Star Wars Vintage Collection, Nominor. He's got the regular paragraph that's on the back of all these. Um, Nominor comes from the Crimson Empire to Dark Horse Comics. I guess this must be a picture of the artwork from the comics. Down below you have other action figures in this line. Kitaba, Dr. Vazen, Ayla Secura, Wedge Antilles, and 501st Clone Trooper. Once again, this was VC-59 of the Star Wars Vintage Collection, No Menor. Let's take another shot at the front cover. And there he is. If you can find this one, I definitely suggest you pick it up. I picked it up on eBay for a pretty reasonable price. Uh, not eBay, I'm sorry, Amazon.com for a pretty reasonable price. Um, if you can get them, I haven't opened it up yet, but you know what? He looks cool. Um, pick him up. 